I guess how much was this game about executing? How much was it about attitude? It seemed like you guys were a different team than your, the team that played them a couple of weeks ago. I mean, we, we knew coming into the game it was going to be a physical game. I mean, that's a that's a well-coached team we just played. Physical team, a team that's they're, – they're not front runners. You know, before our game, they were beating teams 41-3 to three, um, after halftime and the two, two games prior combined. So we knew it was going to be a hard-fought game. Even when we got up in this game, I mean, we knew we had to finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. We preached it all week. Um, and we knew physicality and being physical the whole game was going to be the key factor. Nothing else really matters. Scheme, players, coach, just be physical on both sides of the ball, and we'll get it done. Huck? Yeah, Kenny, uh, after after the first couple drives for the Colts, things seemed like they really changed for you guys defensively. What what adjustments were made or what were you guys seeing that, that helped you kind of get off the field a little better? Um, it wasn't nothing crazy. Honestly, you know, like I said, they're a well-coached football team. A lot of teams, the first couple of drives, they're going off a script, a 15-play script that they scripted up, you know, usually – all week, you know, all their bread and butter plays, scheme plays against the defense that they're playing, um, and, they're, and the plays they can execute. You know, once we got kind of settled in, um, obviously we don't want to get those 14, 14 points early, but once we got settled in, just started playing our brand of ball, things settled down, and we, and we started, you know, we started getting some stops, getting off the field, and our offense did a great job of, you know, obviously they ran the ball so well, keeping us off the field. Terry? Kenny, what was the, the secret today? It seemed like you guys kept uh, Rivers under duress more than in the first match, and you also uh, seemed to play a little tighter coverage in the secondary and not let their receivers get a lot of yards after the catch. Can you talk about the, the adjustments? Just challenging. Like you, I mean, being up in their face, um, not giving the easy access throws, taking away his first read. That way he has to you know, get to his second and third read. You know, guys did a good job of assaulting the pocket where he can't step up and make the throws and has to – all the throws he makes have to be off his back foot or off timing or off rhythm. Um, and I know they want to be on time with, with their offense. So, we did – I mean, those guys up front did a hell of a job getting pressure on them. And, you know, the DB's corners did a good job of just challenging down in and down out regardless of what the situation was. Eric? Hey, Kenny, uh, you know, injuries have forced guys like, um, you know, Borders, David Long, Will Compton to step up. How easy or difficult has it been to inter integrate those guys and how important has their impact been, uh, you know, especially these last few games here? It's been great. I mean, this league is 100 percent, you know, injury rate, obviously. I mean, I've been hurt myself before and you guys got to come in and step up for us to, to, to make the long run to get to where we want to get. There's, you're never going to most time you're never going to have all 11 of your starters out there at one time. So you're going to have to have guys like David Long come in and play significant snaps. And Breon, um, who, you know, going into the season, nobody probably thought he was going to get as much snap. But he's he's out there. He's making plays. He should have three picks today, really, if you think about it. Um, he did a hell of a job. Um, and, and that's the way this league goes. The next guy has to step in. I know it's kind of cliche to stay next man up, but it really is like that. Um, they, I mean, they're dealing with it on the offensive side of the ball. You know, we lose Taylor. We got guys stepping in at tackle. So. It is what it is. It's, it's what we're expected to do as pros. John Glennon. And Kenny, going back to a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, lost to the Colts there at home, and, and you guys are six and three. Um, you know, what what's it um, been like? What kind of accomplishment has it been the last two weeks to go on the road and and beat two quality teams and and kind of turn this thing around? Um, I mean, I don't think at six and three, I don't think we were down and out. But at the same time, we knew we had to play better if we want to if we want to separate from the pack, if we want to separate ourselves and, and truly, you know, be a contending team. We couldn't play like we had played. Um, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, right now, we, you know, we've won two, two great wins, but we got to keep building. We keep building and keep building. That way we improve through, you know, to November, December. And, you know, hopefully we're in the playoffs. <laughs> TD. Yeah, Kenny, uh, there was a stretch in this game where they had six straight punts or they weren't able to score. And at the same time, the running game was really wearing down. W what does that do for you guys as defensive players when that running game that, that you guys have is able to you know, keep you guys off the field and just wear down a team the, the way that, that they do? I mean, obviously, when you run the ball like we do, it eats up the clock, you know, it wears the team down. But like you said, 
you said there were six straight drives, right? Where they, we it was three and outs, or we didn't. They were they, we didn't give them any points. That's just complimentary ball. We're getting off the field. Our offense is getting the ball. They're running efficiently. They're running their offense. You know, the keepers, the play actions, all the things Coach Brable Coach Brable preaches, and you win games like that if you can play comp complimentary ball. Run the ball efficiently on the road. If you can pack a pack a defense and pack a run game on the road, you're going to win a lot of games. Paul, could you feel uh, you, the winning it physically? Could you feel it coming out of them uh, uh, along the way? What do you mean, like, like, like the, the wind coming out of their sails, if you will? Yeah. No, I mean, I mean we have. A, we, I mean, we respect, no, we respect them a lot. I think they're a team that's going to fight until the very end. Obviously, you know, once AJ takes the onside kick back for a touchdown. It's kind of like, all right, the game's over at that point. But, no, it was hard fought the whole way. I think, um, like you said, offense and defense kind of came together, special teams, and we just – we did what we needed to do. The things we did today, we just didn't do in our first meeting. Um, the small details, the, you know, the, the physicality, I think all those things we did today was the reason why we won. Two more, Joe Rexroad. Hey, Kenny, I wanted to ask you uh, actually about an offensive play um, late late in the first half. You know, the uh, variable decides to go for it on that fourth and four, and obviously they get down, make it 35-14. First of all, I just wondered from your perspective on the sideline, how big was that? But also, as a defender, when a team comes out inside five yards and kind of looks like they're just trying to hard count early in the in the mm -hmm. play clock, then comes up and snaps it. Is that is that tough as a defender? Uh, does it, you know, is it, is it easy, I guess, for offenses to catch defenses a little bit off guard with that kind of approach? Was it the clock stopped on that play? Didn't we call a timeout on that fourth down play? Yeah, so but I'm just saying the play clock, the play clock was low, you know what I mean? So, but it was fourth down, so we couldn't take the timeout, we couldn't take the penalty because it'd be a turnover on downs. So, therefore, the defense knew that we could take it to leg. Okay, um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it is tough because a lot of times you're thinking, okay, um, it's going to be like a dummy count. You know, everybody just stay on side. You could get lulled to sleep. Um, but I mean, I would if I was playing the Titans, I would expect anything. So I think those guys. I don't think they're lulled to sleep. I think they're ready to play defense. I think Ryan and those guys did a great job executing. Um, and it's tough because a lot of teams don't go for it. You know, fourth and four plus. And you know, we were aggressive. We were up. It was huge. You know, we got more rest. So I was happy it happened. Last one, Luke. Kenny, Rashawn made the point that as you get to the end of a season, the teams who are in playoff contention either get better, get worse, or sort of stay the same. Where do you think you all are in terms of that spectrum? Um, I think. I mean, I think these last two games, you know, we've obviously improved. We've, you know, we've beaten, you know, two great, you know, organizations um, with the Ravens and the Colts. Um, I think we're just focused on improving, you know, for next week the next game and just getting better and better and better, you know, into the postseason. Um, but we got to focus on the next game. We can't really focus on, you know, scenarios and where everybody else is at and where, where we are in the division. I mean, we just got to start stacking these W's and just focusing on the next game.